Hello, this is Paul Boberkins. This is Plebeian Hero. And welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1 VGA Edition. Uh, we're still on the front page, so let's go check out the... <laughs> the Hero's Tale. Hero's Tale in The windows glow from the light inside. The sign reads Hero's Tale in. So let's go inside and see what's happening in there. Oh, we're going to have to speed him up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, no. It's locked, it's locked right now. <laughs> you don't want to crash the game. <laughs> this a cutscene. No speeding up. No! Oh, it won't let you do it. Welcome. Welcome, stranger. What? Where did I see stranger? <laughs> you saw Shamin and I think you saw Traveler <laughs> and you made stranger. Shamin's Shameen of our... Oh, well. Traveler to the Hero's Tale Inn. I am Shamin at your service. Blah, blah, blah. Is there an option to. There's no option to. Ooh, turn uh, the detail up. Make sure detail. we. Yeah, make sure we utilize use all our. Detail. <laughs> utilize our. Uh, Modern computing technology. Yeah. Detail. So let's mouth this guy. Ma, ma, ma. Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. Sit, risk. You will be served by Mashima. Do you want to voice any of these people? Um, when there's two people, I'll take the second. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have, a, we have a silent protagonist, so it's kind of difficult. Room. Very nice room, very soft bids. Finest in town, only five silvers a night. How, I, I forget what the exchange rate is. What's a silver versus a gold in this? Um... Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I think it's. I think is it a hundred? Twenty. To, or okay. 100. Ten. Yeah. Uh, Ten to one hundred. I know you get cop. Don't you? I don't know if you get coppers, but. Very good food. Very good drink. Finest in town. Uh, you already said that. Yeah. Merchant. My friend Abdullah is recovering from his robbery last week. He should be here around supper time. Where does he sleep exactly? There's one room in this whole place. Well, maybe there's <laughs> like a stairway over here or something. Oh, okay. No, actually, I think that's our room that we sleep in. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to say. He sleeps in. What the about that room? robbery? Alas, the brigands stole all of Abdullah's wealth and mine mm -hmm. own when they robbed his caravan. Now I will be forced to stay in this wet cold land. Just tell us what you're thinking, man. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, Skyrim. This is the original Skyrim. Uh, I think we're a little bit further south than Skyrim. We're, we're in German is, country. Yeah. <laughs> Brigands? I know little about them except they must be wealthy now. Oh. Uh, well. I hope to return to my homeland with the prophets Abdullah, Shima, and I would make from the caravan... Now I fear we will remain here until someone deals with the brigands and returns our stolen trade <laughs> items. Getting more and more Arabic. Brigands. <laughs> brigands. All right. What else we got here? Shapir, a land of gold and sand and tall mountains, a city of tall buildings and winding streets. Never heard of it. It's uh, from uh, Quest for Glory 3, I, I think, know. right? <laughs> yeah. A place where Kata can bask in the sun, as well as sell things in the bazaar. And get notifications on their phone. Yes. <laughs> it is our homeland, and a place where we long to be. Caravan. In my homeland, a caravan is the only way to travel from city to city. To see the <laughs> this kind of sounds like uh, Speedy Gonzalez a little bit. Okay, so I guess we'll probably come back here at night time and um, and get ourselves. A room. What time is it? I know oh, that this is. We can check and see what time of day it is. If I now, oh, come on. I don't know if we're gonna go for the full points run, but I know that if you you have to come back at a certain point to see. Abdullah. Time. Okay. Uh, to get all the points. But. Okay. I'm sure we'll be there whenever we come back to get a room. Yeah. 
Get a rooms. I love these painted backdrops. I've said that before in my Let's Plays, but oh, like yeah. the the painted backdrops and you know, it just looks really nice. Whenever the this color, whenever FMV came around, I think that <laughs> they threw out all these cool painted backgrounds because they took a lot of labor to make and then yeah. just made everything video and it was ugh. Yeah. Whenever Gabriel Knight Two came around and it was. <laughs> It was all FMV, it like was, really bad acting. It was like and replacing the <laughs> best, the best, best that you can get with like painted backgrounds, yeah. versus the worst, worst video that you could get. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> she's the only so sane person nice. here. At least she's not off a rocker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the punniest pun I've ever punned. Judging from what the sign says, the building at the end of the hall, at the end of the street, is the guild hall. Yes. That's very obvious, yes. Let's go in there. <laughs> Let's go see what's happening in the guild hall. The magic shop's just gonna watch you. Yeah, judge with your eyeball. Judge your actions. <laughs> you enter the Adventurer's Guild Hall. Thank you. This Adventurer's Guild Hall reminds you of the one in your hometown of mm, <laughs> traditional <laughs> moose head and other stuffed monsters. Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetar, and the Terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. There's a lot of stuff to look at in this room, I remember. There's a lot of references. Yeah. <laughs> you see a registration book on the table and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated uh, near the window must be the guildmaster. He's okay. snoring. I can do this guy, if you want. <laughs> Guildmaster appears to be hard of hearing. Perhaps you should get closer. Okay. Hey. Yell in his ear. Zzzz. <laughs> yeah, it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hilarious if that's actually what he was doing. <laughs> ah, I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Welcome, welcome. It's so seldom that we have new adventurers around here. Most people think this is this valley is cursed. Ah, nonsense. Definitely not cursed. Now I'm stroking my <laughs> hey, bud. sword. He's uh, polishing it. Oh, what a glorious day it was. Oh, hello there. We just, <laughs> we just greeted you. <laughs> yeah. Guild Hall, tell me about that. This is where an adventurer can find out who he need, who needs someone brave and courageous. There are many jobs in the bulletin board over there. It is also a good place to talk about adventures on cold afternoon. Well, it is cold. There was a lot of snow. Yeah. We've heard. Uh, we used to play cards here once a week as as well, but there are too few adventures in Spielberg anymore. They all died from monsters or brigands, or they just got too old. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> adventures. Did I ever tell you about this time when Schultz and I rid the Valley of Antwerps? Yeah, if, oh, he's German, I forgot. Yeah, if we were real adventurers, and and this is, this was a real guild hall. Guild, guild hall. Now we are just old men, and this is just a place to tell old stories. Well, that's, no, that's sad. It's not, that's not cool, man. This isn't... We're, we're gonna bring it back to the This isn't a quest times. for glory. This is a, a quest for mediocrity. Yeah, exactly. Just barely adequate <laughs> quest. You can see some of the types of monsters that live around here if you look at our walls. There are many trolls, griffins, cheetahs, manta rays, uh, and goblins wandering in the woods. Blink, blink. <laughs> I hear there are even some ogres and saurus rexes back in this valley. Uh, there was... There was a time when Schultz and I had gotten the, uh, rid of most of the monsters around here, but we are just too old for that now. Uh, uh, more sadness. Well, we're gonna we're gonna restore this valley. Yeah, man. Make it we'll nice, your... and then we'll leave and never come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll leave on the second game, and you will have to fend for. Oh man, there's so much to talk about. Do you want to talk about all these monsters? Uh, Let's talk about them. Sure. It's a good intro to the <laughs> world. Trolls are very tough. Fortunately, they only come out at night. The woods are very dangerous at night. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't. I don't learned that out. lesson the wrong way when I first played it by myself. There's like crazy monsters. Sometimes yeah. you can kill them if you're like really super strong. And watch where you sleep. 
The Saurus is a monster easy to avoid and easy to kill for a skilled adventurer. But we're not skilled yet, but yeah. Ogres. Ogres are. Ogres are uh, a lot like goons, but even meaner. Not as bright, though. What's a goon? Like a person? <laughs> like a goon <laughs> person? Goblins are not tough, but when they gang up, they can take out any unwary adventurer. Another hint there. Uh, Cheetar. Cheetars are ferocious creatures that charge out of nowhere and try to tear you to shreds. Sometimes they succeed. Not for this guy. <coughs> oh, I accidentally don't to don't the... talk talk to the woodwork. <laughs> uh, those weird things are magical. They are best avoided. Okay, well, tell me about Saurus Rexes. <laughs> what can you tell me about? <laughs> Don't mistake those things for Sauruses. When they come at you, it is sometimes best just to run away. <laughs> yeah, there's a mean. I don't think I ever killed one. Saurus Rex means king of the Sauruses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In La is, that, is that the, the, Latin, the see, Latin term? Let's see what else he's got. We already talked about monsters. Bulletin board. Over on the wall over there is where... Jobs are posted for adventures. That was an awkward sentence. Some have been there uh, a long time. There just aren't too many good adventures around here lately. Well, that ends now. That a lot of pressure. <laughs> we are the best adventurer. <laughs> we just graduated. The only one that it needs. This, we, we just graduated from adventure school. This is our first job, and they're already putting all the pressure on you. There's lots of old adventures. Yeah, reward. You need to talk to either the Baron or the healer about that. Oh. I didn't even know there was a reward. But. Healer. Her house is just north of here. North of the town gate. She's a nice one. I know I should probably do be doing this in like a German accent, but yeah. I feel like I could insult some people. <laughs> that's what Let's Plays are for. Insulting. Have you heard <laughs> my accents, my other Let's Plays? Oh yeah, that's true. Just They're horribly, <laughs> horribly... Racially and yeah. culturally insensitive. The castle is <laughs> north of the healer's house. What else we got? Uh, trophies. Oh, we need to this look guy, This poor guy just talks about Schultz, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, I don't friend, think there are any other adventures. I think it's just him and Schultz. Yeah. Him <laughs> and Schultz, and now Schultz is gone. Let's look at the... Uh, let's look at the trophy heads. Uh, trophy heads. This, this is certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything quite like it. The plaque reads, Antwerp, slain by two guys from Andromeda. That's oh. a reference to Space, Space Quest. Quest. Uh, the two guys from Andromeda are the guys that made the game. And they also star in the game slightly. They show up yeah. in one, like cameos. They have like the pig noses and the mohawks and the really 90s uh, clothing. Yeah. Yeah. They're, didn't they, is, aren't they the ones that start, or they'll, don't they have like a Kickstarter for a new game or something? Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they, it's called like, uh, Hero Academy or something like that. Oh. No, no, no that's Space Venture. Space Venture. Yeah. So because they couldn't get the name for... It's exactly the same, but like, it's yeah, a it's space a new, <laughs> It's a new character, but he's also like a down-and-out guy who's gonna go on an adventure in space, so... Oh. Okay, so this is, uh, the head is like a panther's, but with a strong human-like quality. Still rather frightening. Placrete's Cheetar, slain by Wolfgang Abenture. Abenture? <laughs> yeah. That's a appropriate name. It looks like it uh, must have been a particularly nasty troll. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark forest. Black reads Troll slain by Wolfgang Abenture. Seems like this Wolfgang, is that him? Yeah, I that's guess? him. Obviously, because he owns the adventurer. Oh. Black and the Moose says, courtesy of the Sierra Online prop <laughs> well, Were they, they were, they were already Sierra Online by this point? They, I think they were founded, called that. Oh, really? I yeah. thought it was like, it went, it was Sierra, and then it was like, whenever AOL Online came out, they made Sierra Online as like a, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. 
I'm sure somebody will tell us. <laughs> um, you never saw a purple saurus before you came to Spielberg, but it looks like a really stupid monster. Well, that's rude. <laughs> it probably is pretty stupid. My one's half wit. Half witten, sorry. Half witten. Half witten. Tapestry so half rotten it would probably fall apart at the slightest touch. That's such a tapestry feels very old and very fragile. Well, they lied. It didn't, it didn't fall it didn't apart. apart. <laughs> uh, I guess it looks like it would. You can't interact with the background. No, oh, I tried to talk to that thing. <laughs> quit, quit trying to talk to it. There we go. That's <laughs> Adventure's armor suit. You wonder why he doesn't eat anymore. Then you see the Cheetar claw marks. Let's take it. <laughs> the armor won't fit you. They made them smaller in those days. Okay, let's see what's on the bulletin board. Oh, you got a point. Alright. <laughs> Reward for the return of a lost ring acquired at the healers. I know where it is. Everybody keeps talking about the healer. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description, short, ugly, wears bright colored robes. It has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at the Spielberg Castle Gates. It's like three times as much gold as we have right now. Yeah. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, dusty and faded. Picture of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of oh. Elsa von Spielberg. Inquired Spielberg Castle Gates. So probably a, the the Baron, Baron von Spielberg's child, more than likely. Right. Wanted brigand leader. Description: Unknown appearance. Where's a cloak? Can I just bring in Must... some random guy and just be like, here he is? <laughs> it's he. He was wearing a cloak. I took Put it off of on him. <laughs> Must provide proof oh, of the leader's identity. Should have read on. <laughs> Reward of sixty gold coins and title of hero of the realm. Acquired Spielberg Castle Gates. Is that an official title? Hero of the realm. Yeah, that means you get free beer everywhere. <laughs> Except, except for outside the realm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's your jurisdiction in is, is in realm. <laughs> <laughs> Notice spell components needed, cash or trade p for potions. Inquire at the healers. We're gonna have to visit this healer. Yeah, I know. Right? Should be. Poster seems to be, have been here a while. Has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. <laughs> Reward of fifty gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet. Barnard von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. So this person has lost both his children. That's why he's so depressed and stays in the castle. So, yeah, so no much. Kidding. He doesn't adventure anymore. <clears throat> oh, and he's asleep again. No. Okay, well that's oh. about all the time we have for this video. Uh, Wait. What? One more thing before we. Oh yeah. Sign the guest book. Very important. Gotta sign the guest book with a flourish. In every game. I think every game yeah. they have one of these. You sign your name into the Adventures Logbook with a flourish. And with that, I'm Paul Bo Brookins. And I'm Plebeian Hero. And we will see you next time. Bye.